Welcome back everybody, let us talk about the Pittsburgh Pirates and give them a season preview for the 2020 season. But first, let's talk about how they finished last year in 2019. They finished 69-93, and 93. they were 27, 26 games below 500, my math is correct. Um, they were last in the NL Central. Um, I think the goal for them this year is don't lose 100 games, but that's going to be kind of hard to do. Um, because in free agency, especially in the offseason, they really didn't do anything. Uh, the only addition they did or acquired was Gerard Dyson as, free, uh, as a free agent. And he's going to take over center field for the newly gone Starling Marte which I don't understand why they traded him because he was arguably um, one of the top three guys on that team for consistency. He was the longest tenured guy on that team since McCutcheon left at that point. Uh, um, that was, Really, Dyson was the only guy they got in free agency. Key losses... Uh, I mentioned they lost Starling Marte, which I think was a bad move. That made a bad team already worse. Um, they lost Jamison Tyon. He's still on the team. They, he just has Tommy John surgery, so he's going to be out for probably most of the season. He, that They put him on the 60-day IL a couple, I think about 10 days ago. I think the 10th of February. So he's going to be gone most of, if not all season. Uh, and probably the biggest thing they did in free agency, not an addition or a loss, but uh, you could say it was an addition by subtraction, was they got rid of uh, Neil Huntington, their general manager, and Clint Hurdle, their field manager. They Both of them are now gone. Um, and like I said, it's probably an addition by subtraction because I think Hurdle ran his course through that uh, Pirates team. I think some they just needed some they needed to hear from somebody new. They needed to hear a new voice in that locker room, which is completely understandable. And Huntington just did a terrible, terrible job running that team. Just horrible. Especially last year. Last year was hard to watch at some points. Um, but I think, I probably in addition to my subtraction, it couldn't get any worse. At least that's the way it seemed from last year. Um, Stuff to watch out for this season. I'm thinking probably can Chris Archer come back somewhat? He's had ever since he was traded to Pittsburgh for Austin Meadows and I'm blanking on another big guy that they got uh, the uh, Pirates traded to get Archer from Tampa Bay. I'm Completely blanking on his name. I don't remember. I thought he was a pitcher. Oh, uh, oh, what's his name? I see his face. Um, I I don't remember. Uh, but as of right now, freaking Tampa Bay won that trade. They won that trade whenever that trade was made, most likely. Because Archer has absolutely sucked coming to Pittsburgh, and he has not um formed like he was in Tampa Bay and even when he was in Tampa he was only there for or he was really good for only a couple of years I think a lot maybe uh, overrated for a lot of people he would say a lot of people would say that Chris Archer was is overrated which the way he's been playing now is completely uh, fair to say that um Tyler Glasnow, that's the guy, that was the pitcher. Tyler Glasnow, or Glasnow, I call him Glasnow. Uh, fine, I finally found out that guy's name. Uh, but if that team wants to be anywhere, they're gonna, there's going to be a lot of things that need to happen, but uh, Archer needs to make a bounce back or else he's not going to stay in Pittsburgh long. He's not going to stay in Pittsburgh long anyway, I think. But nobody's going to want to take him. Uh, I think, can Joe Musgrove improve on last year? He had a, for the Pirates, he had a pretty good year. He won 11 to 10 with, I think, a 4-4 ERA. So pretty good for that pitching staff. Um, 
Now, can he somewhat improve on that? He's not going to get a lot of run support, uh, I think, in most of his games, probably. Because he's arguably the number one on that team. Archer's not. After that, I don't think Trevor Williams is. But um, is Musgrove going to be able to deal with this bad team that Pittsburgh has put around him and have a good year? Uh, we're going to have to see. Uh, how's uh, another thing is how's K uh, Keona Keone Kello going to be as the closer? Now that Felipe Vasquez is gone, which good riddance. Um, how's Kello going to do in that closing job? Because that job's not for everybody. So we're going to have to see. I think he got a couple saves last year, maybe one or two uh, near the end of the season. So it's very small sample size, but we're going to see how well he can do. Uh, closing the door in that ninth inning. Um, I think this is a long shot, but do the Pirates think... I think the Pirates might trade Josh Bell if the price is right. Because Bell had a tremendous year last year. Started off on fire. Finished the year a little bit slow after the All-Star break. Kind of petered out. But I would not be surprised if they end up trading Josh Bell because... Uh, his market was so high last year. As a switch hitter, a switch hitting first baseman, um, that has a lot of power, not great fielding, but um, it would be, I wouldn't be surprised because they need, that team's not going anywhere. They're not. Everybody else in that division has gotten better, except Pittsburgh. They've gotten worse, if anything. So I would not be surprised if they trade away Josh Bell. That's just, that's a thing I'm thinking that might happen this year. I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be more surprised if it didn't happen. Uh, and I think the last thing to look out for this year is, is uh, Gregory Polanco going to stay healthy. He didn't play that many games last year. He missed a lot of the season. So how's Polanco going to do uh, having, trying to have a full season this year? Is he going to be able to play a lot of these games? Is he going to be on the bench for most of them? Uh, is he going to split time with somebody? That's a possibility. Because um, Polanco's a nice lefty bat that has some power and a decent fielder and decent arm strength. He's not a bad fielder. Um, you know, it's going to be something... I think Polanco's going to be somebody to watch out for because... They keep hyping him up. He keeps getting talked about how he's goes under the radar, which is understandable. And um, I could see him maybe doing really well this year if he plays most of the year, if he doesn't get hurt somewhere. Um, I think players to look out for. Uh, some of the guys that had good years last year, and I'm going to look and see if they're going to watch and see if they improve are Brian Reynolds and Kevin Newman, the left fielder and the shortstop. Those guys, in I think 300 at-bats, 400 at-bats, uh, around for both of them, hit above 300. So these are good contact hitters. and you can put the ball in play a lot. Didn't strike out a lot, from what I remember. Uh, but no, I'm looking, I'm looking at these young guys, Reynolds and uh, Newman. And I mean, Colin Moran's going to be all right. Nice lefty bat at third. Um, yeah, Brian Reynolds had four, almost 500 at bats and had a 314 batting average. Uh, so that's really good for 25. He's a switch hitter, so that helps immensely. Uh, I mean, Kevin Newman had almost 500 at bats and he has a 308 batting average. So Pittsburgh's got some guys to look out for, especially some young guys like, like I said, Reynolds. Newman, Colin Moran, I mean, Josh Bell, Polanco. This team's young. It's just, they're not good. They got good players on that team. At least last year they did. But we're going to see if they can improve and not just be stagnant this year, which could happen. Um, I guess for Pittsburgh's going to place in the in this National League Central Division, like I said earlier, Milwaukee got better. Or, yeah. 
Milwaukee got better. Uh, St. Louis is better. They didn't get better, but they are better than Pittsburgh's roster. Uh, Chicago didn't do much, but they're better than Pittsburgh's roster. And the Reds definitely got better than Pittsburgh. So everybody else in that division got better except Pittsburgh. So I probably I have them going last in the division. There I there is absolutely no way I can see the Pirates fourth in the division. I I can't think of a, a way that they get fourth in the division. I just can't. Um, but that's that's the end of the video. If uh, comment down below what you guys think about the Pirates. Do you think they're gonna have a better year this year, better than sixty nine and ninety three? Uh, do you, do you, do you guys think Josh Bell is going to be traded? Because I'm thinking he might, depending on, uh, who he's, um, depending on, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Depending on what they're giving up, or what they're getting back. Because Bell had a hell of a year last year at the beginning. Peter off at the end, but hell of, hell of, uh, blah, 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 hell of a year for him. Uh, am I missing somebody on this Pirates team that I'm overlooking? I'm going to be watching a lot of these games because I'm doing the Central for most of this. Um, so I'll be able to see most of these team, most of the Central teams, in uh, not in person, but uh, watching their games at least. Um, but press the like button. Uh, that'd help a lot. Subscribe down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Share this video with all your friends and buddies, and I'll see you guys in the next video.